Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today's video, I wanted to kind of do almost a follow up to last week's video where I spoke about how sustainable fashion can be a bit boring. Um, you should go watch that maybe to understand, I guess, why I'm doing this video because I'm not really the best person when it comes to buying stuff. I'm, I don't really buy a lot, to be honest, especially not firsthand. Um, but a lot of you gave me some really good recommendations in the comments of that video. And also I get the question all the time, like, do you have brand recommendations? So I wanted to do just like a kind of short list of brands that I've been liking recently. I also did a cool girl spring brands video that I think you should also watch just for like a couple of other recommendations after this one. Um, but yeah, I've got like a list of like, I think five brands that I think are really cool. Um, and I wanted to share them with you. So let's do it. But first, please make sure you're subscribed and you like this video if you like it, cause it helps me grow. So on the comments of the other video I did, I got this comment, which kind of summed up sustainable fashion right now, which is a lot of it feels like business coded, millennial coded, very like quiet luxury. And people are really over that. And I'm really over that. I've, I've never liked the quiet luxury trend. I think it's so boring and beige. Um, if it's your vibe, that's fine. And I think that's a bit different but it's the fact that everyone has made it their vibe and I feel like we've taken the fun out of fashion almost. It looks like you could be going to a party or you could be going to a business meeting with the way people have embraced this trend. So these brands should hopefully offer some more fun colors or styles or patterns. And you know, just like if you're looking to buy something, um, these might be a good place to start, I guess. <laughs> Okay, first off was a subscriber recommendation from that video, Lucy and Yak. And I've known about this brand for a while, but I think beforehand, I didn't really like their style. It wasn't really me, but recently I think they've been coming out with some much cooler pieces and they're definitely worth checking out. I'd say now like the color itself and like, I know they do pattern really well. They have a lot of different styles. They've got these like dungaree shorts, which I thought was so cute. And I was contemplating getting these for summer because they're so perfect. I will probably buy some secondhand instead, but these would be perfect. I think they're also really kind of affordable considering the brand has a lot of sustainability credentials. They are using the right materials. They've got supply chain traceability in place and whatever, but they're still managing to keep their costs down. So I'd say this is like a really good lower end of the spectrum to check out first. If you wanna like dip your toes into a sustainable brand, this one might be really good. This next one I'm so excited for. I haven't talked about footwear brands much on this channel, but Alohas I think is a Spanish like sustainable on-demand company. And that is my favorite kind of company where they're literally making to order really small batches because it feels like so exclusive and exciting. Um, and I really like what they've been putting out recently with these like sneakers in loads of different colors. I'm really trying to get my hands on one of these. I think it will be my fourth purchase for my rule of five, which feels kind of scary considering we're just going into the second quarter of this year, but they're just so cute. I think I have to buy them. They do do kind of some trend led pieces. So I know for a fact they've got leopard print pieces right now, which is obviously on trend, but they also feel kind of timeless. So if you were to buy into these, I think they would still be really chic even after the leopard trend dies down and people are starting to move on. But anyway, yeah, they do a lot of different things. I think they also do clothing. I do think their clothing is a little bit more muted in design than their footwear. So like if this is your vibe, I think their clothing looks really, really beautiful. But again, a little bit muted. So maybe I'm not, I'm not really recommending their clothing. I'm recommending their footwear. I mean, saying that I would wear anything from their collection. So Alohas, if you're watching this, let's clap. Next one is Frankie Collective. I think again, this is an Australian brand um, that has just this kind of sustainable fashion vibe, but I think in a really cool way, a really wearable way. Recently, they've been doing a lot of like reworked sportswear pieces, which I think are really chic. 
Um, I think they're collaborating with like American colleges or something on these designs and I think they're really cute and really unique. But I think they also do do a lot of different styles. I know they do really cute cargo trousers, which obviously have been in style for a couple of seasons now, but I think are also timeless. So like if you like that trend and you were thinking of buying into it, this could be a really good brand for that. But yeah, I think mostly this is a sustainable streetwear option, which you obviously don't see as much. You, it doesn't really fit into this quite luxury trend. Um, but they have some really, really cute pieces if this is your style. Okay, another subscriber recommendation in, the, in that comment section was Organic Basics. And I checked them out because the subscriber said that they have recently like revamped and offered more of an exciting collection. And I think this is true, to be honest, like their collection, yes, is basics. It's in the name, but they don't feel basic. They feel a bit more exciting, a little bit more elevated than than others. What I also like is they offer a men's section and we all know men's sustainable fashion is really lacking. So it's nice to see a brand that has that. I know Frankie Collective does a unisex collection, so that's also menswear I guess but maybe I need to do a separate video all about menswear because my boyfriend does ask me to and it's like I, I don't know I don't look into this side of it so maybe if you want that video let me know in the comments and I'll look into it but yeah I think Organic Basics offers like the stuff that you maybe don't want to thrift like underwear or sleepwear and stuff that I, I feel a bit awkward thrifting I don't really like secondhand items in for that um, so yeah, you do kind of need a sustainable option for that. And I think these are really cute and really affordable and they come in like really soft colors, but like, I don't know. I just feel like they're a little bit up from the most basic. This is kind of random, but I love their tennis socks. I think they're so cute. I do kind of want to get my hands on a pair of these. Last one is JJ Vintage. I just stumbled upon this brand on Instagram. I think like at the beginning of the year, I want to say and i just instantly fell in love it's so sweet i'd say it's like a kind of mix between streetwear and quite luxury so it's almost like a little bit of both and kind of like its own niche in a way it's very like handmade vibes very there's some sheer pieces in there which i think are gorgeous like the sheer maxi dress i love i think this one as well is like batch system made to order so that's really nice and i don't think many people would have it i know they also have like a handbag range which is really sweet i think crescent handbags which i love the style of and i know they're quite popular yeah so maybe this is if this is your vibe this one's worth checking out okay i think that's all my recommendations for now i might just you know do these videos every couple of months and like if I, as i'm discovering brands and making notes i will share them with you along the way um, but obviously if you guys have sustainable brands that you want to recommend, put them in the comments. If you want me to like check out a brand, I don't mind doing that. I'm sure you guys can judge for yourselves, but if you want like a second opinion, pop it in the comments and I'll, I'll help. Um, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. The kind of response I had to last week's video about sustainable fashion being boring really kind of felt validating to me, um, because it can be really disheartening when this is like my topic and I talk about this all a lot, but I don't feel motivated by what's happening. So it kind of solidified the fact that I've built a community on here where people share their thoughts and like support each other. And that was really, really nice. So if you want to join this community, hit the subscribe button and I will see you on next week's video, hopefully. Um, yeah, and I hope you have a lovely day. Thanks for watching. Bye.